Hi dear students, welcome to my channel. This is class number 6, Physics and Measurements. The topic is Precision and Accuracy. Accuracy, what is the meaning of accuracy? What is the definition? Accurate, you know. Accurate means correct. Correct means error is zero. Okay. Now precision means, precision means consistency. How consistently you are reproducing the data? Did you understand? No, we cannot understand. Just listening the definition of accuracy and precision. Then what to do? I will give some examples. You listen these examples, you will understand perfectly what is accuracy, what is precision. Okay, I have four students. I will give some access to them. Same, I am taking all this example of pen and scale. Okay, now I am giving one access to one of my student. He is student number one. What I am telling him, you measure the, you measure the length of this pen. You measure three times, whatever you observe, write the measurements. Okay, I have given him. He has written the measurement of this pen. I know the actual value of length of this pen. I am calling the actual length of this pen is 10.0 cm. Okay. Now the student number 1, he has gone and he has measured the length of the pen. He has noted. Three times I told to measure and write them. Now he brought the data. I am seeing what data he has brought. One is 7.9 cm. Another one is 8.0 cm. Another one is 8.1 cm. So three times he measured the length of the pen. And three readings. One is 7.9. One is 8.0. One is 8.1. The basic question. Whether this data is accurate or not. How to find? First, what you have to do? These three data are there, no? You take the average. 7.9 plus 8.0 plus 8.1 divided by 3 equal to 8.0. So, this 8.0 is measured value of length of that pen. But what is the actual value? I know that is 10.0 centimeter. So, you first find the error. Error is equal to actual value minus measured value. So actual value already I know that is 10.0 cm. The student number 1 measured it is 8.0 cm. So error is equal to 10.0 minus 8.0 equal to 2.0 cm. Error is very high. So certainly this data is not accurate because error is high. For accurate error should be low or zero. So we concluded that the data given by student number one is not accurate. Another question, whether it is precise or not. Matlab, it has good precision or not. So for precision, how to calculate? You take the range of the data. Range means the maximum value of the data minus Minimum value of the data. Maximum value what he brought is 8.1 cm. Minimum value what he brought is 7.9 cm. So 8.1 minus 7.9 equal to 0.2 cm. The range is very small. So we can say this data is precise. This data has high precision. But it is not accurate. Understand? Okay. Now, student number 2. I am giving the same experiment. And that fellow went, he measured the length of the pen. Three times, he noted down the measurements. What he noted down is 9.5 cm, 10.0 cm, 10.5 cm. The first doubt whether this data is accurate or not. For that you have to calculate the error. So you first do the average of 
this three data values. So average is what 9.5 plus 10.0 plus 10.5 divided by 3 is equal to 10.0. Error is equal to actual value minus measured value. So actual value is 10.0 centimeter minus measured value is 10.0 centimeter equal to how much? 0. So error is 0. Error is 0 means the data given by student number 2 is accurate. Now we will go to check whether the data is precise or not. For that what we have to do? Range. Range is equal to maximum value minus minimum value of the data. Okay. So maximum value is 10.5 minus minimum value is 9.5. Equal to how much? 1.0 centimeter. Agree? So 1.0 centimeter is high only. It is high. So the data given by student number 2 is not precision. Is not precise. The precision is low. Okay. Now we will go for student number 3. That fellow went and he measured, he noted down the readings or the measurements. What he brought is 9.9 centimeter, comma, 10.0 centimeter, comma, 10.1 centimeter. Same, we have to calculate the error. So take the average. So 9.9 plus 10.0 plus 10.1 divided by 3 equal to 10.0 centimeter. Okay. Error is equal to actual value minus measured value. So 10.0 minus 10.0 equal to 0. Error is 0. So the data given by student number 3 is accurate. Now we will check range. Range is equal to maximum value minus minimum value. That is 10.1 minus 9.9 .9 is equal to 0.2 centimeter. Range also low. Range is less. So the data given by student number 3 is precise. It has high precision. Okay. So student number 3 is given the data which is accurate and it has high precision. Okay. Now we will go for student number 4. Same thing he brought the data. What he brought is 9.0 cm, 8.0 cm, 7.0 cm. Now we will check whether this data is accurate or not. The first step is take the average of 3 values that is 9.0 plus 8.0 plus 7.0 divided by 3 is equal to 8.0. Error is equal to actual value minus measured value. So 10.0 minus 8.0 equal to 2.0 centimeter. So error is very high. So data is not accurate. Okay. Now we will check precision. So range we have to calculate. That is maximum value minus minimum value. So 9.0 minus 7.0 equal to 2.0 centimeter. So range also very high. So the data given by student number 4 is not accurate. It is not precise also. By seeing the this 4 data given by 4 students, which data is accurate? Which data has high precision? I think you understand clearly. Finally, I want to tell you the most important point is for any set of data given to find which data has high accuracy and which data has high precision you should always calculate two two things one is error if error is very less the data is accurate second one is range if range is very less the data is precise Okay, students, now accuracy and precision. I'm sure you understand perfectly. This lecture is enough to understand perfectly 
what is precision what is accuracy okay students till then bye bye